Welcome to another segment of Cooking with Coal. Today, we're going to smoke this chicken. This organic young chicken. This whole fucking thing. We're going to smoke it. But I'm preparing the rub first. The rub, we need salt, brown sugar. We need all garlic powder and onion powder, but I'm going to substitute garlic salt and onion salt. Paprika, black pepper. All right. This is how I do my rubs. I start with uh, a recipe that said, says half a cup of brown sugar. I always like to use a bit more. We're going to use uh, about three-fourths cup brown sugar. A little bit extra. It makes it nice and sweet. You pinch a sexy brother Cody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> little pinch of Cody goes a far away. All right, we got about three-fourths cup of brown sugar. That's more than plenty. Half a cup of paprika. Man, I need to start buying more paprika. This is pretty much going to take the whole thing. Yep, the whole thing. And yeah, half a cup of paprika seems like a lot. Pretty much just eyeball this. Nice hefty pile in the middle. That's how I do it. Take a minute, as you can see, because grinding the pepper takes a minute. Yeah, it should be about a teaspoon. We need uh, about a tablespoon uh, or a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of shit, salt to match. Let's go a little bit faster. All right, let's get the bit less than a tablespoon of both of these because it's you know, salt and not the actual stuff that the recipe calls for so I don't want to have this meal too salty that should do it I have, oh, I have freaking reflexes of steel there's only a, a teaspoon of that so and it, it also says optional plenty plenty now what we're gonna do is just whip it together really well Shall we get these brown sugar clumps broken up evenly? Mix it. We'll give it a good hour in the fridge. We'll be cooking this chicken most of the day anyway. Um, Alright, that's step one. Step two, open the chicken. Knocking that ice off. I've been thawing this bird for two days in the fridge. Oof, was frozen for a while. Now, normally I'd have like a bag or something I'd throw it in, but it's gonna throw it in the bowl right with the rub as it is. Boom. Yeah, look at that rub. And this is why they call it a rub, because you rub it in. Rub it in. You gotta rub that stuff. Rub it on in. Some of this rub on the inside. Ooh. Rub the inside. Rub it inside and out. For a while, look at my hands. Oh my god. Barbecue hands. Ah! Alright, now we cover it in the bowl as it is. Normally I'd use plastic. But this will work for now, for an hour. Given time for the rub to sit, mix once the salts and stuff infuse with the meat and makes it more tender, it gets more of that barbecue flavor in there. So it's important to let the marinade sit for, you know, at least an hour before you cook anything. And in the fridge it goes, ah! I lied about marinating, I marinated it for about three hours, because the longer the better, obviously. And this one ain't gonna take as long as I think, as I thought it would smoke, but step two, fire up your smoker. Here we go. Flame on. All right, now we're gonna let the heat clean off the grate. And uh, after the flames go down, we'll throw on the, the water in Japan. And then after that, we'll, we'll let these uh, 
Cole's getting nice and toasty, and then we'll throw our chicken on. Bam! Look at that marinade. Looks beautiful. Looks like the chicken thawed a little bit out more, and made it nice and moist and wet. Looks like it's soft over a bit. <laughs> Flip it over. Look at that. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna rub that rub on there a little bit extra. Yeah, look at that. And here we go. Moment of truth. Old chicken. I'm gonna put it breast side down. And we're probably gonna cook it for a good hour. I'm gonna take the leftover rub and just rub it all over the top because I don't want to waste any. In my opinion, the more the merrier. Ah. Now I must point out to the camera, unlike most of the videos I will probably be filming, I have never made this before. I mean, I've made chicken, but I've never smoked a whole one before. So this is, I'm learning just as much as you are with me today. All right, look at that beautiful thing. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'll set this down, take the gloves off. Boom, toss it right in the trash. Get the lid on. Vent it a little bit. Now we're gonna get our, our chips ready. Oh. All right. Now today, I'm gonna go with cherry and hickory chips. Both do really good things to chicken. So I figured a little bit of both would be good. Instead of chips today, actually, we're doing whole chunks. Because I figured, I'd go the chunk route, uh, the smoking process. I mean, it'll just smoke longer. Maybe it'll save me more money. I don't know. I've never used chunks before, but we're gonna see how they work out. Don't need much when you're using chunks, because as you can see, that's a lot of wood, and it's gonna burn a while. And it's a couple fat chunks of each kind. Just stick it right in the hot coals, like such. Careful your thingies. You don't want to burn your fingies. Ugh. Normally, at this point, I'd be like, don't dig with these chips. As you say, we're not using chips, we're using chunks. So, you know, don't overdo don't the chunks. Don't overdo those chunks. Your so, uh, this should smoke pretty good. See, it's already starting to flame up on the one chunk. I'm just going to let it do its thing for a while. I'm going to throw one more little chunk of great right there. All right, that should go for a while. Now, we're going to check it in about an hour. I'm going to give it a good hour. <coughs> She's been cooking for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not exactly positive how long, but about time we had more charcoal, more chips, and give the meat a turnover. So, bring the charcoal over. Look at our meat. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That is one saucy bitch. That's one saucy All right, look bitch. Busy. Normally you'd use something other than your fingers because this is really hot. Ooh, and messy. Look at that. I don't have anything to wipe it off, but oh well. Screw it. Yeah, look at that chicken. Beautiful. The drippings are going into the wet pan, so that's what you want. Adds extra flavor. You can see that barbecue inside there too. As we filled it full. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so good. Now in about an hour, I'm gonna come out here with honey. I'm gonna start rubbing it down with honey as soon as it gets more press it onto the skin. But right, time to add more chips and uh, charcoal. Ah. All right, now that should smoke on away for a while. That beautiful, beautiful smoky chicken. It's what you want, folks. It's what you want. Now we're checking about another 45 minutes to an hour. See how all that barbecue is uh, sealed to the chicken. It's been about another hour. We're gonna check on the chicken. Woo! That's what you'd like to see. Let's get a little hot, cause uh... Juicy chicken. Try not to do that again, be careful. I have to go grab some water quick, and then we'll stir our chips around. I'll cool it down. There we go. Chicken's getting a little too warm on that side, but we got a nice crust. Actually, with that, we can start rubbing the freaking honey on it. All right, I put honey in a bowl because you don't want to contaminate your whole jar of honey. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon to it, just for fun. Anyway, we're going to mix that up really well. And now we're going outside. And we're going to cover our chicken with the honey-lemon juice mixture. It's mainly honey. And we're going to cover this whole side really well. Just one side at a time, so that way it gets evenly coated in it, and it glazes it really, really evenly. Boom. Spread it out. Now, typically, you use, like, a, you know, a brush. You just brush it on, but I'm not going to waste extra dishes right now. I'm just going to use this. Yeah. And it's okay if the honey drips into your drip pan, because it'll just make your drippings even sweeter than it drips into. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what you want to see. Oh, yeah, boy. Get all that honey goodness. Oh, that honey goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. It's good honey goodness. Oh, boy. Ooh, look at the juices coming out of that hole. That's a juicy hole. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to cover back up and let her do its thing. We added a little bit more uh, charcoal to keep the flames going. But she's looking good. Got that honey crisping over. 
making its nice glaze on it. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, look at that beautiful bird. <laughs> it's beautiful so bird. beautiful. All right, check on it in about 45 minutes. Ooh, look at that bird. Looking good. Looking real good. And he was good too. Sticky as shit. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Ah! Boy, is that burn. Just sticks to you too. That's the leg that kind of came off and juiced out. Look at all that juicy, juicy chicken. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. <laughs> anyway, getting on with it. <sighs> Chicken China, the Chinese chicken. Do, 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 chicken, chicken, chicken. I don't know if it works in the song, okay? Don't hate me. Yeah, get that in the hole. Gonna get that for show. Gonna hit that for show. Gonna get that in the hole for show. Get that in the hole for show. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah! Smoke my eye. It burns. Just a tidbit. Put that last bit, honey. Ooh, smoking my eyes some more. Put that honey in the hole. Put that honey in the hole. In that honey hole. Put that honey in the hole. Beautiful chicken. Beautiful chicken. It's so beautiful. Right, I'm just playing with it at this point. Cover it back up. I'll let her cook for another hour. Ooh, look at that bird. Looking good. Looking real good. Look at that leg. That's how you know it's, it's getting there. It's just pulling right apart. Bone coming right out. It's what you want. It's what you want to see. <laughs> now I got a janky little leg chicken. Yo, yo, that <laughs> janky chicken leg chicken. Janky. Uh, I picked up my legs. Keep my fingies nice and clean. I'm gonna bowl this time, so I'm just gonna do some expert pouring. One more glazing. I'm gonna cook it for about half an hour longer, and it will be done. It's pretty much done right now, but I'm just gonna glaze a little bit more because I love the honey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get it nice and perfect. You don't want to do too much now. No one do it like I did last time. It's just enough. Every little part. Boom. And bird. Yeah, about a half hour and she will be done for sure. We're gonna, I'm gonna mix the uh, coals around real quick. Put the lid back on. Boom. Look at that beautiful chicken. It's been cooking what? Four and a half hours? Maybe five now? Five and a half hours? Anywhere from four and a half hours to five and a half hours that we cooked this chicken. And look how fucking fantastic she looks. Look at this. Big old. Mmm. Well, that, oh, that's good. That's real good. So I've decided how I'm going to do this. Open. I'm lucky. Nope. <laughs> See, that's how you know it's done. The leg is pulling right out. Okay, I'm in. I know I'm going to have to do this. This is sketchy. Two-hander. Real sticky. Ah. Woo! Hot. Future use. Really, you should be, I should be using a fucking spatula or big pair of tongs. I'm a fucking idiot. That's how I do things with my bare hands. Some, it's my man. It's what men do. We do things with our bare fucking hands. And we burn ourselves. And we say it's okay. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm totally fine. Mm. I'm chicken. Alright. Look at that beautiful bird. Do the heaven music. What you want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that white. Ah, tearing right apart. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ah, oh, it's cutting right apart. It's amazing. I've always been kind of a leg guy myself, so I gotta get one of those legs. Alright, we're gonna try some of the uh breast meat here. Look how white and delicious that is. Look, kitty wants some. Of course, kitty, you can have some of my chicken. It's a real big piece of love. Okay, here, kitty. Kitty likes the chicken. You like the chicken, kid? Kitty approves, folks. Look at that. Kitty approves. Oh, yeah, kitty. Look at that. Kitty approves. Eat a key. Eat that fucking chicken. Kitty approves. Let's look at him approving of that chicken. I approve. This message. The message is delicious chicken. Mmm. 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 You really taste the honey on it? Mm. You get a light barbecue. I think it's mostly on the skin though. But man, this is good chicken. Mm. Good and moist. Excellent. Excellent job. <laughs>